My name is Arina. I'm 17 years old. I'm here for rhinoplasty surgery. Dr. Ravami is not just a doctor to get the work done. He has helped me to uh, feel safe and confident about surgery. Arina is a young, lovely lady and has features that are very attractive already on her face. It's just that her nose is a little bit disproportionate and off balance. If you look at her face in, in thirds, you can see her nose is extra long for her face. So it's a little bit too long for the mid-face portion. In addition, you can see she has a cartilage area that angles down here, and she has what's known as a boxy tip. And then if you look here, she has wide bones here, so her bones are extra wide. And this portion here is a fairly large, significant hump. You can see from her cheeks, her hump is quite a bit forward. In addition, her tip projection is too much. When she smiles, her cartilage points down and her nose looks even longer. So in order to treat this lengthy part of her nose, I have to raise her tip, set the cartilages back closer to her face, shape the cartilages, and make them look a certain unique way, and then go ahead and get the nasal bones uh, trimmed down together and the hump gone. I have my surgery today. Okay. Hi, good morning, how are you? Good to see you. Are you nervous? Excited? No? Okay, good, good. Okay. So if there's no other questions, all I'm going to do is basically go ahead and just mark the uh, bone part of the nose so we know where the bones are coming in and some of the other things. Okay. One of the worst things in rhinoplasty is when it looks fake because the bones were brought in too high, then it looks like there's a pipe or rod coming down the middle of the nose. So her bones are asymmetric, so I mark this asymmetrically. Nose is open. I'm looking at all the cartilages three-dimensionally, so I know what decisions to make. I'm not doing a blind, closed approach and just guessworking and cutting willy-nilly. These are called spreader grafts. I'm going to put them in the nose to prevent collapse because I reduced so much of her hump. This is what you need to let it be smooth in about six months or a year, so the nose doesn't look weird after it heals in a year or two and collapse later. I love my new nose. My new nose looks natural. Our patient did very well as expected. Uh, she still has a little bit of swelling that needs to come down in her nasal tip but her ethnic rhinoplasty with her uh, Middle Eastern features has been uh, dealt with in a very natural, what I call an ethno-sensitive manner. I'm so happy. Um, I have more confidence in my life. The key is if you look at the nose right now, and the nose in the central triangle of beauty takes up a lot of real estate, and in her, that real estate is now matched. Dr. Gavami did an excellent job for me. Mm -hmm.